In this video we're using Visual Basic to make ourselves a simple digital clock, in fact we're doing two clocks. The first one is in 24 hour time and the second one is just in 12 hour time with an AM or a PM over the side there. You can see it's pretty much in sync with the system clock down here in the bottom right. Okay, so that's how we get the values in the Visual Basic, simply we're using that system clock. So let's close off the example and start ourselves a new project. So I'm going to get a File, New and select Project. Choose Visual Basic in a Windows Forms app. The name of my app is just going to be Clock. I call it Clocks since we've got two of them. Go to Browse and make sure you're saving in your Documents folder. I just save on my desktop. I'm going to make a folder name there called Clocks and click on OK. Once we're into our new project, just expand that form a little bit. And we're going to click on that form and change its back color from the properties to black. We're going to go down and we're also going to change the text. So it says, actually not form, we want the text to say clocks. And now form one up here will change to the word clocks. Good. Moving down we'll give it a name, so it should be FRM clocks. And I think that's looking pretty good, so we'll just leave that form as is for now. Next thing we're going to bring out is a couple of labels, so grab your label tool and bring out the first one. With the first one brought out, give it a name, just here, LBL, call it LBL Time 1, actually we'll call it Clock 1, that should be a bit better, LBL Clock 1. And the text we want to put in label Clock 1, if I can spell it properly, there we go, is simply midnight or midday, whichever one. So it's going to be written as 12 colon 0 colon 00. zero. Okay, when you click off it now, we can't see it still, obviously because I haven't changed the font, that's what I need to do. So the font, you need to choose a bright colour, as well as make it bigger. So let's make that size 48, I've got it bold, and I'm going to change my font to alarm clock. Okay, that's just a free font I found on defont.com, I'll click on OK. By changing the full colour of that text, you'll be able to change the colour of it and be able to see it as long as it's a nice bright colour, like that one. Right, so this is going to be our 24 hour time. So I'll just leave that sitting there like so, and I'm going to copy that now. Oops, I'll just press Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. This one's going to be our, um, so that's our 24 hour time, this is going to be our 12 hour time. So I'm going to add to the text here, 12 o'clock a.m. That puts the AM straight after it. Alright, we'll have to give it a name that means something as well. So I'll call it LBL Clock 2. Now I've got Label Clock 1, Label Clock 2. Alright, so I think we are ready to start our coding now. So let's just double click. Actually, not ready to start our coding yet. We've got to go down and add a timer. To our app first, so just drag a timer onto the app and you'll see that that timer appears down here. This timer is basically going to be used to tick over our clocks once every second. Okay, so come over to the properties here. Let's enable that timer by saying enable is true. Make the interval 1000 and that allows it to tick over every second. And the name TMR timer. And we can now double click on this timer. From here we've got an event that has been created and basically it handles when the timer ticks over. So every second, what do we want it to do? Well, it's quite simple. Let's put in label clock one dot text equals, I'm going to write the keyword time string. And that puts that first clock in the 24 hour time. Let's just run it and see what happens. a little bit slow but our clock here should read our system clock and up it comes as 17.01 which is 5.01 p.m. looking good so now on the next line let's just get the other clock working so we'll do label clock 2 dot text equals now this one's a little bit different we have to write date time dot now dot to string 
and we put in the format that we want our clock. So in quotation marks, it's hour, colon, minutes, colon, seconds, space, TT, which is the AM or the PM. I'm not quite sure what TT stands for. All right, but we'll just put a little comment in that says time with AM dash PM. Okay, remember, comments aren't read by the compiler. Well, they aren't read by the computer. They're just there to help us out when we're reading back through our code or if somebody else is reading your code. It just explains what's going on here. That's it. We've got both our lines of um, code in and we should now have two clocks that are synced up with the system clock. Let's have a look. They don't fit too well, do they? But we've got 24 hour time at the top, 12 hour time at the bottom. All right, so that's looking pretty good. You can save that up now and that will probably do it for this one.